Hello and welcome. We have the first screenshots from Arena Breakout Infinite, the PC version of Arena Breakout. And let me tell you straight out of the bat that I'm not going to compare this to Escape from Tarkov. I have not played that game, so I'm going to compare it to the mobile version. Find some similarities, highlight some stuff. So let's get straight into it. The first screenshot is from the lobby, or to be more precise, the screen where you can select between tactical ops and covered ops. And I'm gonna grab the chance now to share my opinion on crossplay because that's kind of the first question that comes up. In my opinion, it's not validated though, but in my opinion, this is gonna be a separate game, fully different servers, so mobile players are not going to play against PC players. In my opinion, this should not be considered as a port to PC. It's more like replicating the experience for PC, optimized for PC. The whole concept of the game is gonna be the same. We're gonna have similar weapons, similar maps, similar features and functions, which makes sense in terms of efficiency because dev team can reuse whatever they have on mobile already. But this is not going to be the same game. It has a different name. It's Arena Breakout Infinite. In terms of the stuff we have on screen, I see the same things like missions, math, trophy room, customize, which makes me so excited to kind of learn more about the game. But let's hop over to the next screen. Ah, okay, so here you have the lobby with four players. And what I can see is that there are elements, certain elements they have reused as is, like this farm here. It's like an as is like port from mobile to PC, they are using the same thumbnail, but there are certain elements which are different, like the thumbnails, the, the titles, the cards that are different, and maybe even the fonts are different. I'm sure the game is gonna look awesome on PC. We're gonna get more detail, of course. That's just the nature of like PC versus mobile games on PC. We have like a big machine on mobile. We have a small device, so definitely makes sense that on PC things are gonna just look better. All right, here we have the weapon assembly screen, which to be honest, seems to be a bit crowded on first sight, but I, I see all of the items I got used to. So we have the flashlight, we have a blue laser, we have a tilt, we have the 60 round mag. One thing that comes to my mind is that why do we need a different user interface? So the one on mobile works and it looks pretty cool. So I'm not really sure why there is a need to invest more development hours. All right, next tea, a terrain. So this, looks pretty much amazing guys the lightning the shadows the trees and i guess everything is gonna move like the grass and the leaves and everything is gonna moving uh which is gonna make it very interesting because as far as i know there are not going to be sound prints in the game so good luck with spotting the enemies in such a terrain i think this is an actual screenshot in game and if we get this on PC, this is gonna be an amazing experience. Here we have another screenshot. Again, the reflection, the sun, the shadows is just amazing. Hopefully we're gonna have enough FPS to play the game. Okay, now we have a water, which actually reminds me of the mobile version because on mobile, if you have set the graphics to HD or Ultra HD, you kind of see a very similar water but overall it looks amazing this is what i would expect but i'm not that interested in the water and the texture because we cannot go into the water anyway so alrighty so now this is the first screenshot where i can definitely tell that this is farm it feels hot this is one of my favorite places on farm by the way i always check that so if you want to run across me on farm then this is a place you should be checking out because Usually when I come from the villa side, I always check this Beatfield hut. Good stuff. And here we have it again from a different angle, which looks pretty much amazing. And again, if this is actually a screenshot from the game, then it's going to be very hard to spot people because the colors and everything, there's not much like contrast. And if you're gonna see like a tiny person just hiding somewhere, uh, it's gonna be pretty hard with, to, to, to spot people, especially if you're gonna have fog. For example, you, uh, you see that there's a bit of a fog here um, between the trees or in between the trees. Uh, so interesting, very interesting. I like it. I already love this. Mm, okay, so we have, I think, 
valley and the renewed port area. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, it, sh it should be that. And finally, we see characters. Let me check some detail. T4 helmet, basic, what is this? AK-74N maybe, backpack, looks pretty cool. I don't think that this is actually an in-game screenshot because I don't see player names and the HUD, so maybe it's just one of the assets they've been creating. All right, there you go. This is kind of the first screenshot where we see the game from our point of view. I think this is how we're gonna see the, the actual game. The HUD is still missing, like the UI, uh, your health and, and all kind of stuff, but this might, this might be actually a screenshot uh, from the game. And I, I like it. I like the level of detail and it definitely reminds me of the mobile version. All right, this is this is looking amazing again. Like like look at the, 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 the lights, the reflections and all kind of stuff. I don't see the character movement obviously, but if the grass is gonna move and the trees and the leaves and everything, and maybe if the clouds are gonna move, that's gonna be really, really amazing, guys. And we are heading into the action. So we have some smoke here, like indicating that this guy is firing. Um, and there's already a drop body over there. I like the colors again. I think it's gonna be very interesting to fight uh, in such rooms and in such areas. It's not like full of contrast and colors, which is gonna be making it very hard to spot people. But this is why it's gonna be very, very exciting. And look at that, look at that. Your scope, the lenses of that scope, they are like mirroring something that is behind you, which which makes me think that what if, you know, somebody is behind you? Would you would you see that here in Lens? Very interesting. Overall, I like it. One thing that is striking though is that look at uh, how big the difference is between the colors of the gun and then the gloves. So this is like using a different type of color palette. And as you can see, the weapon is like much more colorful or much more saturated. Not saturated, but the contrast level is definitely higher compared to everything else you have on screen. Oh my goodness. So this is, this is actually the very first screenshot where I can sense some movement. I guess this guy is moving and this is why he's a bit blurred or maybe he's outside of our like field of view. Then we have like the like the health indicator. Uh, you see the armor, you see the remaining time. And now we have at least some stuff on screen. And we also see ghost, a player name, and this lovely 3X holoscope. And again, there is reflection. So I guess there must be something, um, you know, added to this, like seeing something from behind. Anyways, I love the smoke, I love the lightning, and I truly hope that this is actually, actually a real in-game screenshot, because if the game is gonna look like this, oh my god, oh my god, then tons of people are gonna get addicted and play this 24-7. Oh my god, I'm, I'm pretty much amazed. The more I look at the screenshots, the more I wanna jump into it, and start playing this game because it's just fascinating. Look at look at the laser. It's 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 even better than what we have on mobile. On mobile, it's also cool, but if you're gonna get this as is, as we see it on screen now, again, people are gonna get addicted, <laughs> and we need to take some holidays from school and from work and um, just you know enjoy our times with this masterpiece because. I'm, I'm truly amazed. I'm very happy that um, I'm gonna have a chance to play this game. And this is a valley, by the way, so the corridor which leads you to the room where you have the safe. And there you go, here we have the electric safe. The background looks interesting, in my opinion. It seems to be like, uh, like, like a painted image or like a background or something. It's really hard to envision that this is actually 3D. But um, hopefully in a couple of days, we're gonna see a real footage, like in-game footage and not just screenshots. Last but not least, we got the red smoke. So the concept of the game is gonna be the same. Loot, shoot, subscribe. Oh, sorry. Loot, shoot, extract. But don't forget to subscribe. 
and we get to the last screenshot. And at this point, I'm going to ask you to leave me feedback. What do you think about the screenshots? What do you think about the fact that it's very similar to Arena Breakout on mobile, but still a bit different? Are you planning to try the PC version? Are you going to stick to the mobile version? Do you have any questions regarding the PC version? Because if you put them into the comments, then I may have a chance to ask the developers and then answer them. Any questions, any thoughts, anything is welcome regarding Arena Breakout Infinite PC version of Arena Breakout. Thank you for your attention. As always, have a nice day, guys. See you next time. Shady out. Bye.